so let's discuss the uh, structure of the nucleus that how does it looks like and how many nucleuses are present there in a particular cell so you tell me first that what is a nucleus yes anyone can you tell me what is a nucleus it's an organelle which controls the biochemical processes in a cell in a cell okay what else about the nucleus it also contains the genetic material which is separate from one generation to the other can we say that nucleus is a absolutely correct both of you can we say that it is a dense protoplasmic body isn't it yes ma'am correct uh see as you know when you have studied the components of the cell you have studied that there will be the nucleus and cytoplasm cytoplasm right and yes. together these nuclear this nucleus and cytoplasm they will be forming the protoplasm. protoplasm correct that is why we have said that nucleus is a dense protoplasmic body correct okay and we can say that this nucleus is also called as the control room or brain of the cell so can anyone tell me why we are calling it as the control room or brain of the cell ma'am because all the metabolic uh, activities in the cell is controlled by the nucleus absolutely correct right why we are calling nucleus as the brain of the cell because it is the one which is going to control all the metabolic activities which are uh, occurring there in a cell so uh, how many nucleuses are there present there in a cell ma'am one ma'am one ma'am so is it compulsory that they are going to have one nucleus no ma'am it depends on tissue to tissue like in the muscle cell like it is there in the muscle cell there are multiple they are multi there are one or many okay ma let's categorize this in the form of pro and u prokaryotes and eukaryotes ma'am so do you eukaryotes have the nucleus or prokaryotes have the nucleus ma'am that's how it would look do not have the yeah. primitive nucleus which is a nucleus it will not have the membrane bound in the case of prokaryotes what do they have they'll be having nucleoid which is the primitive, primitive. nucleus which do not contain the nuclear membrane, membrane. right but when we talk about the eukaryotes so in general if we talk about the eukaryotes so eukaryotic cell is uninucleated yes ma'am right eukaryotes are uninucleated in general right are all the eukaryotes uninucleated no ma'am no ma'am but some of them are binucleated and some are multinucleated as well yes right yes ma'am uninucleated to uh, so in general ho gaya some of them are binucleated as well which are going to have two nucleuses as in the case of paramecium correct slipper shape organism and this is the one that is going to have the ma'am chondrocytes are also uh, binucleated right ठीक है एंड देर आर मल्टी न्यूक्लिएटेड इंडिविजुअल्स मल्टी न्यूक्लिएटेड में कैन बी राइट डाउन फंजाई बट इन फंजाई ऑल्सो देर इज एन एक्सेप्शन यू कैन राइट डाउन एक्सेप्ट ईस्ट बिकॉज ईस्ट हाँ ईस्ट इज अ यूनिसेल्युलर फंजाई ओके सो दिस इज अबाउट द न्यूक्लियस इज द नंबर ऑफ न्यूक्लियस विच आर प्रेजेंट देयर इन द वेरियस यू कैरियर्स correct so we said that it is a brain of the cell and who discovered the nucleus it was discovered by the robert robert brown robert brown robert brown correct okay now let's have a look at the structure of nucleus so what does it contain See, you will be studying the extension of this uh, topic in your next classes also. It is there in class eleventh also. Okay, and it will be related to the chromosomes, then to the meiosis or mitosis cell division. So it's very important to learn first the basics of it. Okay, so let's come to the structure of nucleus. So in the structure of nucleus, what is there? First of all, it comprises of the nuclear membrane. It is a double membrane bound structure. Okay. it's going to have the two membranes 
and these two membranes are together going to form the nuclear envelope so we can call it as the nuclear envelope correct yes ma'am it has pores also yes. nuclear pores true this is the nuclear envelope and these are the nuclear pores which are going to help in transport of the materials between the nucleoplasm and the cytoplasm cytoplasm is that inner part ye wala yes, portion is the nucleoplasm the nucleus sap right and outer one this is the cytoplasm isn't it so this yes, these pores are responsible for the transport of material between them second thing what do they have is the nucleolus this is the nucleolus correct and inside it there is present the condensed mass of chromosome called as chromatin chromatin correct now can anyone tell me that this nucleolus is made up of what does it uh, contain D dna and protein dna and proteins pakka or rna is rna and protein sorry rna it is the one which is going to have rna and proteins actually it is going to have the ribosomes, ribosomes. right and you know ribosomes are responsible for the protein synthesis and they known as ribosome factory protein yeah that why we can say that nucleolus is the ribosome factory also correct yes ma'am this is ribosome factory and ribosomes are the protein factory protein. correct now come to the chromatin chromatin is going to contain two different things what are they dna DNA and, and histone protein. Very good. DNA and histone proteins are there. Absolutely correct. Right. How many histone proteins are there? There will be eight histone proteins which are present. Correct. Now this chromatin is going to condense and will be responsible for the formation of the Chromosomes. Chromosomes. And when these chromosomes are visible, they are visible at the time of nuclear division. Nuclear division. Cell division. Cell division. Cell division. Ke time pe they will be visible. Not always. Now, have a look at the structure, right? Which tells you that how these chromosomes are formed from the chromatin. So you can see this is the DNA, deoxyribonucleic acid, the genetic material, correct? Yes. And uh, you know what are genes? These are the small cells. The functional units. The fundamental physical and the functional units of DNA. Absolutely correct. And these are the one which are responsible for coding various proteins, and they are the one which are responsible for the various characteristics in the individuals. Correct. Yes. Now, can you see that there are present these eight histone proteins? Correct. And after some time, these eight histone proteins they get surrounded by the DNA, and it is forming a structure which we can call as the beads on a string. So it's a beads on a string kind of structure which is formed, and collectively we can call it as the nucleosome. So eight histone proteins, right? They are wrapped around by the DNA molecule, and they will be forming a bead on a string kind of structure. Together, we can call these as the nucleosome. This is the collective subunit which is formed. Now they will be coiling, coiling, and again coiling, super coiling, and ultimately they condense into a structure which is called as chromosome. Chromosome is going to have the arms called as chromatids. Correct. Chromatids, and this is the centromere, or you can say the primary constriction, right? So as these arms are present here on a single chromosome, so we can call these as the sister chromatids, and they are the one which are going to have the genes as well, like this. Okay. So do remember that chromosomes are visible only at the time of cell division. Is it correct? Is it clear? Yes, ma'am. Right and uh, do you remember that uh, on the basis of position of centromere, there are different types of chromosomes? Yes. 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 Metacentric, submetacentric, helocentric, and acrocentric. Correct. Yes. Metacentric when this is present in the center, when it is shifted, submetacentric, so or shift हो जाएगा. तो ये क्या होगा? Acrocentric and lastly telocentric when centromere will be at the terminal position. Correct. We'll be studying all these details uh, afterwards. Okay, so I have a question for you all. Let's have a look at one poll related to this. Yes, I've launched one poll. Is it visible to everyone? Please answer this.
Srinath Mishra has answered. Vishnu, Rayan, Divya, hmm, Rayan, wrong. Vishnu, wrong. Srinath, correct. Okay, so there are two students who have done correct, uh, who had given correct answer. Srinath and Divya. Very good, Bacho, both of you. और आप दोनों न्यूक्लियोजोम क्या है न्यूक्लियोजोम इज मेड अप ऑफ ये देखो सामने आंसर लिखा हुआ इट्स मेड अप ऑफ हिस्टोन प्रोटीन एंड डीएनए गॉट इट यस क्लास नाउ आई हैव वन मोर क्वेश्चन फॉर यू ऑल दैट इज दिस वन नाउ आंसर दिस क्वेश्चन Refer to the given figure and select the incorrect incorrect statement related to the P Q R. So first of all, you tell me what is this P, what is this Q, and what is this R, and also tell me this organelle which is present here. Ma'am, P is. Ma'am, nucleus. Organelle is R. P is nucleus. Q is chromatin. Q is chromatin network. R is nucleoplasm. R is the nucleoplasm. Nucleoplasm, correct. Ma'am, A is the answer. A is the answer. Okay. I'm I'm asking. They are asking the incorrect statement. Read it carefully and then answer. What is this P? This is nucleolus. Nucleolus. And I'm searching. Nucleus. And my answer from my side is D. D. Yes. D. According to you, it is D. All of them are. All of them. Are. So everyone is saying this is all of them. All of them yes, is the correct answer. All of these. Yes, ma'am. Yes. Absolutely correct. See what is written here. P, P, which is nucleus, right? It could be an angular membrane-bound structure. It is not membrane-bound, right? Which is rich in DNA and proteins. No, it is rich in proteins. Correct. Q could occur in dividing nucleus and is made up of RNA and proteins. No, 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 no. Correct. R could be a clear fluid, right? Material that stains mainly with the basic dyes. No, ma'am. It does not stain with basic dyes. True. Right. So. D is the correct answer. Very good, everyone. Mom, what's the concept of dyes? That how do we find that uh, it is stained by acidic or basic dye? See, when uh, we when we studied the uh, when we studied the characteristics of the uh, nucleus, na at that time we studied uh, this that it will be stained by this particular dye. ठीक है तो ये आप direct learn कर लीजिए इसमें से direct ही question आता है. Okay. Correct. Hmm. Now come to this question number uh, next. 32 this is related to the bone and the other structure that is cartilage so what is this x and what is this y b ma'am b ma'am b b b ma'am x is cartilage tissue and y is bone y is bone x is cartilage and y is bone theek okay. hai And Havertian system. Yes, but cartilage is present in the concerta grigs of trachea, and bone uh, uh, matrix uh, contains calcium and phosphate. Correct. So, what could be the correct answer for this? B. B. D. No, B. 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 X occurs in the wall of wall of trachea, whereas Y serves as a storage site of calcium and phosphate. Is it clear to everyone? Do you remember what are these concentric rings present here? What are they? Yes, system. Have a question. No. Lamella. 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 Have a question. Can I ask you? And what is there in the center? Have a question. Can you find it? This is the Haversian canal. What this Haversian canal is going to have? Mum, blood vessels. Right. Blood vessels and nerves are present there in the Haversian canal, and these are connected with the help of the Walkman. Walkman canals. Correct. 